And news from the auto world and shares of Nissan Motor, they have dropped 4% in early trade today. Nissan is officially closing. Now they are giving their cars away for dirt cheap, with brand new cars going for as low as $12,000 or even $10,000. That's barely a fraction of what they originally cost. So should you buy one of these cheap cars like the Nissan Altima and Rogue for basically a penny? What does this mean to you as a consumer and the industry too? And exactly what happened to Nissan? Is this the start of a new era? Look, as consumers flock to dealerships hunting for mind-blowing discounts, Nissan's financial journey is going through both serious challenges and potential opportunities in the rapidly changing car market. Now, don't get me wrong, they are in big trouble. Just look at the sales numbers. 99% decline in profits? That is just insane. And the current mess at Nissan isn't just a random occurrence. It's a clear reflection of larger issues plaguing the company. See, by leaning heavily on fleet sales instead of directly appealing to individual buyers, Nissan has dug itself deeper into trouble. This has fostered the idea that Nissan can't keep up with industry frontrunners, leaving many questioning its future. But is that true? I mean, can they never make a comeback? Is this it? And what exactly is their plan now? Let me break it down for you. You just subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Survival of the fittest. To understand Nissan's story fully, let's rewind and take a little trip back in time to the 20th century when the DAT Motor Car Company was established in 1911. Yes, Nissan was called DAT Motor Car Company at first, and in 1931, it rebranded simply as Datsun. Now, by the late 1950s, Datsun made significant waves in the American automotive scene, tapping into the public's desire for dependable and economical vehicles. Plus, with iconic models such as the Datsun 510 and the beloved Z Series sports cars hitting the roads in the late 1960s, Datsun solidified its place as a manufacturer of innovative and reasonably priced cars in the United States. Fast forward a few decades, and this company became the go-to for small, fuel-efficient cars, traits that resonated during the oil crises that swept America in the 1970s. Datsun's clever marketing strategies and focus on consumer desires helped it capture a large segment of the market, positioning it as a formidable competitor against traditional American giants like Ford and General Motors. But here we are in 2024, and Nissan, once a titan in the automotive landscape, now faces a series of significant challenges that threaten its survival. Three key issues, to be precise. So let's dive into those. Lack of sales. Over the past five years, Nissan's once impressive market share has taken a nosedive, plummeting from a solid 7.7% down to a mere 5.8%. Now, don't just shrug this off as a boring number. This significant decline is not just a statistic. It illustrates a much bigger narrative of fading consumer interest and fierce competition that's definitely not helping Nissan. In August of 2024, Nissan made its struggles painfully clear when it revealed an alarming global sales drop of 5.5%. This new wrapped up a tough streak, marking five consecutive months of downward spirals. The U.S. market, which is crucial for Nissan's success, is sending out loud and clear red flags as it wrestles with a combination of critical issues that can't be ignored. At the core of this troubling slide lies Nissan's heavy reliance on fleet sales, which has shifted from being an asset to a considerable liability. Fleet sales often yield lower profits than the appealing charm of retail sales. Additionally, this strategy leads to an excess of vehicles, flooding the market with discounted options that can hurt overall brand perception. Automotive News highlights an alarming statistic. Nearly 38% of Nissan's 1,071 dealerships scattered across America are currently in the red. This oversaturation tidal wave, where Nissan's number of dealerships far exceeds those of competitors like Honda and Hyundai, has resulted in a shaky business model that's struggling to stay afloat while desperately trying to maintain its existing market presence. To make matters worse, we also have Nissan's aging lineup of models creating yet another hurdle. While automotive giants like Toyota and Honda continue to dazzle the market with new and exciting models that resonate deeply with what consumers want, Nissan appears to be lagging behind. This brings us to the second major factor in their struggles, the glaring lack of innovation. In this electric age, the absence of hybrid vehicles in Nissan's portfolio is striking. It is surprising for many to see Nissan standing alone among major automakers in the US, not offering any hybrids or plug-in options. While brands like Toyota have seamlessly woven hybrid options into their offerings, where almost 30% of all Toyotas sold last year included some type of hybrid powertrain, Nissan's efforts to catch up have been alarmingly slow. 
This hesitation to embrace innovative and eco-friendly alternatives has inadvertently nudged consumers into the welcoming arms of brands that actively do just that, leaving Nissan somewhat in the dust. To add to the frustration, Nissan's hybrid version of the extremely popular Rogue SUV is not set to hit the market until 2027, which is an excruciatingly slow response to quickly evolving market demands. You remember the buzz that surrounded the launch of the Nissan Leaf back in 2010, right? It was one of the first mainstream electric electric vehicles to roll onto the scene, generating tons of excitement. But as new and advanced electric models from competitors like Tesla and Ford have flooded the streets, the LEAF has struggled to maintain its relevance. A glaring lack of new features, timely updates, and performance enhancements has led to dwindling interest from consumers hungry for the latest and greatest in sustainable auto tech. Nissan's failure to keep pace with the rapidly changing landscape of electric and hybrid vehicles puts them at serious risk of losing ground to more innovative rivals who are fully equipped to meet the shifting preferences of eco-conscious buyers. To get back on solid footing, Nissan must urgently ramp up its efforts to create and launch a diverse lineup of hybrid and electric vehicles that can stand shoulder to shoulder with the industry leaders. Failing to make these crucial strides could seal a devastating fate for them in terms of market share, making it expert exponentially harder for the automaker to keep up as the automotive world moves toward more sustainable solutions. But wait, that is not the only thing that Nissan has to figure out. Damage control. The damage to its reputation caused by reliability issues, specifically the notorious problems with Nissan's continuously variable transmissions, often referred to as CVTs, is just too hard to ignore. And it is not just about the CVT, there are a mountain of issues that erode the Nissan name. But drivers from multiple Nissan models have been voicing all sorts of complaints regarding these transmissions specifically. From rough and unpredictable shifting to shocking unintended acceleration, and in the worst cases, even complete transmission failure. Not exactly the smooth, dependable ride you'd expect from a major player in the automotive game. A recent Consumer Reports survey has revealed that a significant number of potential Nissan buyers are starting to back away based on these major reliability concerns. The brand's reputation has taken a serious hit, and even loyal customers who have stuck with Nissan through thick and thin are now jumping ship to other automakers after facing these irritating transmission malfunctions. In an industry where customer loyalty is absolutely paramount, this erosion of trust is truly devastating. I mean, if you can't rely on your car to get you from point A to point B without a hitch, why would you even give the Nissan brand a second thought? It's a pretty tough predicament for the company to find itself in. I get it, Nissan has put in considerable effort over the years to build and maintain a reputation for quality and dependability, but this hard-earned trust is rapidly being undone by these lingering CVT problems. As long as drivers continue to share their frustrations, this looming cloud of reliability concerns is going to stay right over Nissan's head. So here's the burning question, can Nissan turn things around and win back that crucial customer trust? It's going to be a challenging climb, to say the least, but if they can somehow find a way to address those ongoing transmission issues for good, then maybe, just maybe, they could have a fighting chance at redemption. After all, a reliable, problem-free ride is something we all yearn for in our vehicles, isn't it? But here is the thing we are barely scratching the surface here, and one of the more captivating and tumultuous stories in Nissan's modern history revolves around none other than Carlos Ghosn. Once heralded as the genius who transformed Nissan from a struggling company into a global automotive titan, Ghosn found himself at the center of a scandal that would send ripples of shock throughout both the company and the entire automotive industry. Let me explain. In late 2018, the news broke of Ghosn's arrest on charges of financial mis conduct and it felt like the ground beneath Nissan trembled as a result. The drama escalated when Gosen engineered a dramatic escape from Japan while awaiting trial. This audacious act raised severe questions about corporate governance and shone a harsh light on the internal conflicts within Nissan. Following his arrest, a series of unsettling revelations regarding financial mismanagement and questionable practices began to surface, further staining Nissan's image. The reaction from investors was swift and unforgiving. S&P Global responded by downgrading Nissan's credit rating to what is referred to as junk status, which added further fuel to the fire of concern regarding the company's management stability and future prospects. The fallout from the Gosen episode still looms large over Nissan, casting a long
long shadow on both its corporate governance and its public image. Since Gosen's departure, the company has struggled to regain its balance. This is particularly crucial now, as Nissan finds itself under intense scrutiny concerning its leadership and strategic direction during a time when bold and decisive moves are essential for survival. The challenges facing Nissan now are not merely echoes of past failures. They are complex issues that weave the legacy of past missteps with an urgent need to reshape their future. So what steps is Nissan taking to navigate through this turbulent period? What's their plan? Well, in an effort to kickstart sluggish sales, the company has rolled out a series of ambitious promotional campaigns featuring impressive discounts that I told you about, plus some appealing financing options. Numerous dealerships are currently advertising discounts that reach as high as 15% off the invoice prices on select popular models, enticing consumers with enticing offers. Customers can find attractive deals on cars like the Nissan Rogue and the Altima, with prices much lower than the market averages. Furthermore, Nissan has rolled out an intriguing offer featuring 0% financing for an extended period of up to 60 months on various models, allowing prospective buyers the chance to drive away in a new car without the burden of high interest expenses. These promotional efforts are not being kept under wraps. Instead, they are actively showcased across a variety of marketing platforms, including social media outlets, eye-catching television ads, and well-crafted email campaigns. The goal? To grab attention and entice potential buyers to act quickly before time runs out. Recent advertisements are even equipped with catchy slogans such as Drive Today, Pay Less, designed to create urgency among car shoppers. Not only do these advertisements shine a spotlight on the impressive discounts, but they also highlight the reliability and exciting features of Nissan vehicles, aiming to reawaken consumer interest in a brand that seems to have lost some of its shine in recent years. Additionally, Nissan has tailored a marketing strategy that focuses heavily on limited time offers. This tactic generates a sense of urgency-driven FOMO, or fear of missing out, among potential car buyers by showcasing genuine customer testimonials that discuss favorable experiences and spectacular deals. Nissan hopes to build a deeper level of trust and encourage more foot traffic into their dealerships. But while these massive discounts might provide a short-term boost in attracting buyers, they also spell trouble for Nissan's overall profitability. So is their plan actually working? The average net profit for Nissan dealerships in the United States has taken a nosedive, plummeting by an astonishing 70%, which translates to $262,582 per dealership. This drastic decline becomes all the more alarming when you consider that nearly 38% of 1,071 dealerships are running at an operational loss. Loss. The return on sales, a vital measure of dealership profitability, has drastically shrunk from 3.2% last year to a mere 1% now. This stark drop signals that many dealerships are grappling with the fight to keep their doors open. The slim profit margins arising from these aggressive promotions only exacerbate the financial struggles faced by the dealership network. A growing number of dealers are selling vehicles at or even below cost, which makes it increasingly difficult to generate enough revenue from associated services. Services. services such as financing, service contracts, and parts sales become essential for overall profitability, yet declining new vehicle sales lead to fewer trade-in transactions. Consequently, this creates a vicious cycle where falling car sales further diminish service revenue, tightening the squeeze on these dealerships. Moreover, Nissan faces another layer of difficulty, as its market share in the United States has dropped dramatically from 5.8% just five years ago to a mere 1.9% today. This shocking decline indicates that dealers now find themselves with more inventory than they are able to sell, which necessitates additional markdowns and promotions to clear excess stock. The competition is intensifying, with rivals such as Toyota and Honda capturing larger shares of the market while often moving vehicles at double the rates Nissan can manage. All of this paints a rather grim picture of Nissan's financial outlook. The hardships confronting Nissan's dealerships become glaringly apparent through recent reports indicating that eight franchise stores have shut their doors this year, driven into closure by unsustainable operating conditions. Frustration among many dealers is bubbling to the surface, primarily due to their struggles to compete effectively against brands that present stronger product assortments and more favorable consumer perceptions. On the financial front, the dealership network faces the very real threat of being stretched too thin. Originally designed for a market share between 7 and 10%, the current reality reveals that there simply 
isn't enough business to support all existing franchises. Some industry insiders are proposing the idea of reducing the number of dealerships by as much as 40%, a move that might stabilize profitability for the survivors that remain. Yet, this solution carries its own challenges, primarily concerning the potential job losses and negative impact on local communities. But Nissan is not sitting idly. Nissan is in a frantic race against time to revitalize its lineup and win back consumers' hearts. While they are excitedly rolling out new models like the redesigned Kicks crossover and the revamped Armada SUV, the reality is that sales numbers have yet to soar. Take the Kicks, marketed as an enticing entry-level SUV aimed at younger buyers, the model just can't seem to keep pace with well-established rivals such as the Kona from Hyundai and the HRV from Honda. Now, Nissan's advertising campaigns have worked hard to spotlight the advanced technology and impressive fuel efficiency offered by these new models. However, there remains a glaring oversight. The brand often fails to mention its hybrid offerings. This lack of hybrid vehicles is problematic, considering that Nissan is significantly trailing behind competitors who have successfully incorporated hybrid options into their lineups. Especially during a time of soaring gas prices and increasing environmental awareness, the absence of hybrid models leaves Nissan at a considerable disadvantage. Industry experts are not quite convinced that Nissan's current strategies will effectuate a change in momentum. One analyst bluntly stated that the brand must roll out more attractive models or slash prices drastically to clear out its mounting inventory. A sense of urgency hangs in the air. Nissan's dwindling profits and shrinking market share mean that decisive action is paramount for regaining consumer trust and stabilizing their dealer network. So what now? Well, Nissan's ambitious The Arc strategy aims to revitalize the brand through a comprehensive overhaul. Let's break it down. The key goals are seven new North American models by 2026 and a remarkable 78% refresh on existing offerings within just three years. This intricate plan seeks to harmonize traditional combustion engines with cutting-edge electrified options, including a target of 34 electrified vehicles worldwide by 2030, 19 of them fully battery electric. Rolling out fresh models is crucial for Nissan to regain consumer favor. Take the revamped Leaf boasting a 25% increase in range. Quite enticing. However, experts suggest that simply refreshing the lineup may not be enough to address deeper issues surrounding brand perception and customer loyalty. After all, the Leaf was once a pioneer in electric vehicles, only to watch competitors like Tesla and Chevrolet surge ahead with their own rapidly expanding EV lineups. Nissan has its work cut out, but the Arc appears to be an aggressive, comprehensive strategy to transform the brand. Whether Nissan can successfully navigate these challenges and reclaim its place in the fiercely competitive automotive landscape remains to be seen. Another key focus of Nissan's strategy involves ramping up production to meet projected demand. The goal is to streamline operations and cut costs. However, a cautionary tale lingers. Concerns that overly aggressive production increases could lead to a surplus if consumer demand fails to materialize as expected. Nissan's experience during the COVID-19 pandemic serves as a stark reminder as the company boosted production only to be saddled with unsold inventory when demand unexpectedly plummeted. While Nissan's initiatives may provide short-term relief, they often fall short of addressing the root problems, particularly in the realm of innovation, especially surrounding hybrid and electric vehicle technology. For instance, Nissan's e-power system, which uses a gasoline engine to charge a battery that powers an electric motor has struggled to gain traction outside Japan. This raises a crucial question, is Nissan truly committed to innovation, or is it merely playing catch up in the industry without a solid long-term vision? Nissan's ambitious electrification goals are critical for its future success. The company has set a bold target for electrified vehicles to make up 60% of its total model offerings by 2030. This aligns with a broader industry trend of automakers pivoting toward electrification to meet growing consumer demand for eco-friendly options. In the coming years, Nissan plans to introduce several new hybrid and electric models, including five hybrid offerings for Thailand between 2025 and 2027, leveraging local production capabilities. Additionally, the company is heavily investing in solid-state battery technology, which promises notable advantages in energy density and charging times. If all goes well, these advanced batteries could hit the market by 2028, positioning Nissan alongside competitors racing toward comprehensive electrification. Consumers are undoubtedly trending toward electric vehicles, with recent surveys indicating nearly half are considering an EV for their next purchase. However, 
Nissan faces stiff competition, not only from established players like Tesla, but also emerging names such as Rivian and Lucid Motors. To thrive amid these formidable rivals, Nissan must do more than just innovate. It needs to effectively communicate the benefits of its new technologies. Experts suggest that Nissan should explore alternative strategies beyond just enhancing its vehicle lineup, given the brand's current challenges. One compelling idea is downsizing its dealership network. Many dealerships are financially strained due to low sales volumes and high operational costs. By consolidating locations or shifting focus to online sales platforms, Tesla's successful model, Nissan could reduce expenses while making it easier for customers to access their preferred vehicles. Additionally, directing attention toward niche markets could create new avenues for growth. Developing specialized vehicles like electric microcars or urban mobility solutions could meet the demands of emerging markets where traditional vehicle ownership faces challenges, such as space limitations or heightened environmental concerns. Collaborating with companies like Silence, which manufactures electric microcars and scooters, might boost Nissan's presence in these promising segments. See, Nissan's future hinges on a multitude of critical factors. Its ability to efficiently execute recovery plans, adapt to ever-evolving market demands, and innovate at a swift pace. So here we are, sitting at the intersection of two possibilities. Recovery or bankruptcy? Experts remain split on whether Nissan possesses the ability necessary to navigate these challenging waters successfully, or if it finds itself on a path towards bankruptcy. Some analysts raise alarms, cautioning that if Nissan cannot quickly restore consumer trust and bolster its market share, the company may struggle against a competitive competitive landscape dominated by electric vehicle experts. Conversely, there are those who maintain that with significant investments in electrification and promising technological advancements on the horizon, a solid recovery may still be within reach. If Nissan truly can roll out its solid-state batteries by 2028 as planned, potentially leading to cost reductions and enhanced performance, it might just reclaim the ground it has lost in the electric vehicle market. A broad consensus exists among analysts that achieving cost parity with traditional Additional internal combustion engine vehicles is crucial for promoting widespread adoption of electric vehicles, particularly among consumers who harbor hesitations due to the initially higher costs linked with electric vehicles. But wait, there's a looming challenge. The electric vehicle price war. Major automakers are furiously slashing prices in a frantic quest to attract more customers. This tumultuous price-cutting frenzy is severely squeezing profit margins to their breaking points. Remember, electric vehicles tend to be inherently expensive to produce, largely due to their sophisticated batteries and high-tech systems. As automakers scramble to maintain their competitiveness, keeping their bottom line healthy becomes nothing short of an uphill battle. The electric vehicle market is rapidly evolving into a crowded and fierce battleground. Established brands find themselves in competition not just with one another, but also with newcomers and tech giants eager to invade the automotive space. Manufacturers are compelled to embrace continuous innovation and differentiate their offerings to stay afloat, leading to soaring research and development costs. Let's not overlook the expectations being placed on consumers either. With plummeting prices, buyers are increasingly demanding more value for their money, performance, range, and a suite of enticing features. Automakers must enhance their electric vehicle lineups while also ensuring that costs remain manageable. Failure to meet these elevated expectations could lead to significant losses in market share. Adding to all of this are supply chain challenges, with the rising tide of affordable electric vehicle production placing immense pressure on resources. Fluctuating costs for battery materials, that's just stirring the pot and contributing to production cost instability. And as the market adjusts to decreasing prices, companies might find themselves grappling with unsold inventory of older, pricier models. This situation invites desperate discounting strategies, which only serve to erode brand value further. Such a vicious cycle could severely hinder growth and make automakers apprehensive about investing in new technologies or expanding production capabilities. The electric vehicle price war presents a complex and high-stakes challenge, putting automakers on a precarious tightrope in their efforts to remain profitable. Yet, those who manage to navigate this composite landscape of hurdles might just emerge victorious. So, as Nissan moves forward, we must ask ourselves the pivotal question. Will they rise to meet this challenge and carve out a path to recovery, or will they be left in the dust in the frenzied rush towards electrification? What's your thoughts on this? Let's know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.